The Synthetic Chemistry Program at Boston College, I think, is one of the forefront ones in the world. We really have an outstanding group of people. We have programs that address pressing challenges in the efficient catalytic stereoselective synthesis of complex natural products and in the design of new energy storing and electronic materials, as well as in the synthesis of new renewable polymers. We also have teams of chemists that are making game-changing catalysts for use on large-scale chemical synthesis and manufacturing, and we collaborate with a number of pharmaceutical companies to put these new processes to use to solve real-world problems. Our research is highly collaborative in nature. Uh, we have numerous projects that combine the synthetic skill set of our organic faculty with the expertise of the chem chemical biology and physical chemistry colleagues. The collegial collaborative spirit here is enabled by our medium-sized department and tremendously benefits our research and improves student learning and training. In my lab, we're developing new catalytic reactions that allow conversion of simple, readily available alkene feedstock materials into much more complex and useful natural products. This compound here is a structure that's a potential anti-cancer therapy. Ideally, what we would do is learn to make this from really inexpensive compounds. Right now, you can just get micrograms of this from nature, uh, and we'd like to make grams of this from things that we pump out of the earth. Uh, we also study the reaction mechanisms that underlie these processes, and overall the hope really is that we can learn enough about the processes that we develop uh, that we can make them better, uh, make them more efficient and effective for addressing problems. Research in my group focuses on the synthesis of new organometallic complexes and their use as catalysts for various applications in energy, the environment, and for new reaction development. In addition to collaboration with academics, my research group also collaborates with industry. Boston College is ideally situated near one of the largest hubs for pharmaceutical research in the world. Our group has been able to capitalize on this proximity by developing sustainable iron-based catalysts for cross-coupling reactions. The project has tremendously benefited from the expertise of the pharmaceutical companies in the region. Experimental groups in physical chemistry and material science are interested in interfaces that have the remarkable property of facilitating chemical reactions. And such junctions between phases are known as heterogeneous catalytic interfaces. And our work is principally driven by two key questions. First, what are the interfacial properties and the catalytic mechanisms that render a particular interface a, an effective catalyst for a specific reaction of interest? And second, on the basis of that knowledge, how can we design stable, selective, and efficient catalytic interfaces? The theoretical and the computational chemistry group here work on a variety of different topics, including energy, catalysis, biomolecules, and environmental science. As a theoretician, we develop new theories, write computer algorithms, and simulate the real world by using uh, supercomputers. On a computer, you can actually see how atoms and molecules move. The power of computational chemistry is that we can make predictions and design new molecules, new materials that have not been experimentally synthesized yet. My research group used physics and applied mathematics to study the electronic structure, reactive intermediate, and the reaction mechanisms in the atmosphere, material science, and catalysis. We also explore the possibility of using machine intelligence to design new molecules, new catalysts. So my research team aims to understand how the structure and dynamics of electrocatalytic interfaces determines their catalytic properties. And we employ interface selective infrared spectroscopy to understand at the molecular level these structural and dynamical properties. Research in our chemical biology division features uh, diverse and highly interdisciplinary projects that ad address in, in important uh, fundamental questions and develop cutting-edge technologies 
in molecular biology, cell biology, and medicine. Our research faculty groups encompass expertise in chemical synthesis, molecular evolution, pro protein engineering, proteomics, polymer science, and transcriptomics, and many other research areas in chemical biology. Our graduate students receive rigorous research training by working on a variety of different topics, ranging from chemoproteomics to directed evolution, and from protein post-translational modifications to antimicrobial peptides. My research group focuses on uh, a variety of different topics um, at the interface between macromolecular science and biology, with the emphasis on generating the programmable small molecule and uh, macromolecular probes for investigating biological questions. Specifically, our research project uh, uh, range across many different areas, such as investigating how sulfate groups uh, serve as a chemical code in signaling transductions, um, the direct evolution of CRISPR genomic editors, and uh, uh, developing the next generation sustainable plastics using biologically derived building blocks. I started my position at BC recently, and um, it's a very exciting time for me, building my new research group surrounded by amazing colleagues and outstanding students. Um, RNA chemical modifications represent a new layer of gene expression regulation that only get realized very recently. My research group aims to understand functions of diverse chemical modifications on nucleic acids in biological processes and in diseases.